Oh, Lauren! Hey, Troy's coming to beat you up. Oh, store dude! Hey, somebody else is coming to shoot you. God, we have so many different fucking characters to keep track of. I've actually been sitting here wishing I had like a little notebook so I could ca take down little story notes. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to reach for. Turn off the TV. Oh, that's a watch. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I thought it was... Like a little ashtray or something, because I didn't see the clock on it. All right, what's going on here? Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. You just got a little bit of sleep right now. A hot drink is what I need. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Uh, maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. What is over here? I don't know. She just stared at the door. A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Really? I don't know. I've never really felt sleepy after a hot shower. I've actually feel I more really awake. I need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? <laughs> oh, tea's cold. Just gotta put it in the microwave for a bit. Nice hot drink. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. I'm just gonna search through an entire fucking apartment. Have a snack. Eat the little hamburger and have the hot tea. Boom, there you go. You'll get to sleep eventually. I'm surprised that wasn't a slow action thing. Don't drink it so quickly or else you'll burn your mouth and drop it on the floor. Not your mouth, the fucking tea. This is also a really big nice place. Is she gonna have a depressing meltdown thing happen later on? Maybe not. The time frame of the story would, uh... Needs to happen in this week. I mean, she could still have bad things happen to her in the course of the week! That's obviously probably what's gonna happen! But it won't be in the case of like, Oh, hey, my kids are dead and my husband left me. Ah, uh, we gotta figure out what the hell this chick does for a living. What the fuck? Uh, well, that was creepy. How are you gonna feel if I directly check out your corner? Like a fucking horror movie, huh? I'm aware. Well, she actually has a full-on bed over here. She's sleeping on the couch. God. Can you imagine trying to sleep with all these fucking lights just shining straight through your windows? Maybe you're an insomniac because of that. Okay, so what is so cool about this corner that I can sit in it? I've never been here. Do I get to time- just get some time to ponder? Nope, just randomly stretch. Okay, let's get a let's get away from this dark corner. It solved really nothing just to pass the time. That's actually what a lot of these areas in Heavy Rain have kind of been. 
they plop you down into a character for the first time, and then you, you just kind of walk around for a bit. Then something happens. Ooh, music. Well, at least it's not completely creepy in here. Also, I like how he messed with the, uh, the remote. It didn't really seem to, like, turn off the TV. It just put it to a darker static each channel. Oh, I see a laptop. We could go to work there. Because, you know, staring at a bright screen in the middle of the night, that'll keep you, uh... Awake? Well, she hears the person in the place. <laughs> I, uh, I swear I heard something. Good job, Madison. I think you're starting to lose it. This is a really small area. How could we not possibly find who's making that fucking noise? Like, are they just <laughs> playing hide and seek? Because the only way they could hide would be over here in this back corner. And like, every time they see us move, they move themselves. That's it. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Gotta lay back down. <laughs> she goes through the entire animation just kind of like looking towards the window. <gasps> Uh-oh. I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Shadow. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. No, oh, but the food has been haunted! <laughs> what is this guy fucking doing? How on earth did the fridge just open like that? Ghosts. Get it together, girl. You probably just left it open by accident. Won't let us turn completely around. <laughs> Look, going without sleep is driving me crazy. Get up, close the fridge door, go to. Whoop! <sighs> this guy's just fucking with us. Why, dude? Just take There's our shit and here. go! There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. They must have got in while I was asleep. Damn! Come on, girl. Stay. No, oh, I just wanted to get out of here! I figured going to the front door was the safest option. Oh god, there's two of them! What the fuck?! Madison, what do you do that requires two people to break into your house? And like, dig around in it. Yeah, we're gonna open up her fridge and make her check it out. That'll spook her! Oh, arrow! God. Jesus Christ! Wrong area! Oh god! I fucking went left instead of right! Are there like f 
fucking three of them? Oh yes, here we go, take the fucking TV. The one that's kind of powered up without anything connected to it. Jesus Christ, we're not getting anything done against these two. Oh, there you go! Oh, what the fucking hell?! Oh, it was just a dream. What the fuck?! What the fuck? Uh, I, I was legit like, oh, this chick is just, she's just dead. We've hardly known her. And I got her fucking throat slit because I had the audacity to beat up a bunch of guys and hide in the bathroom and then <laughs> fucking have the dream ninjas pop out from everywhere. Oh my god, is this gonna be like an eviction notice or some shit? Nope. A picture. The first clue. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. Shit, that was the wrong button. It looks like the ticket to a locker. This angel on the ticket. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. Someone sent me that letter for a reason. Yeah, it's probably the origami killer. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. Wow. I know it's me. What the fuck was that jump? What did I do with Sean? I must have done something, but I just can't remember. I black out and I murder people. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. I couldn't have hurt him. I love him. I love him with all my heart, but what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? I'd give anything to know where Sean is now. I think I know where this ticket comes from. There's no way back for me if I've done anything to hurt Sean. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. Goddamn reporters. I gotta go sneak out the back. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. What time is it? Let's see. It is currently... 7.35. I have to escape. Before they know anything's up. I like how we have our schedule for Sean, still. I didn't do anything to erase it. I gotta look out the window. What are these assholes doing? They're just checking their phones, waiting around for me to go out the front door. I'm surprised none of them went to the back door. I'm also surprised that we didn't, like, close our blinds or anything. 
I mean, if I had paparazzi just sitting outside of my house, that's what I'd do. Oh, well, oh, gotta take a leak before I make my grand escape. Oh, I can't even shave this time, just in case. If I'm gonna go on the run, I might as well do it clean shaven. I want to find out, like, the origami killers actually are wife, Grace. She goes crazy from the loss of Jason. And she blames it all on us. And so she's just been killing kids, so that way nobody else can have kids of their own. Nope, what up? And then she's going to frame it all on me. By occasionally drugging me with things I make contact with frequently. No, that'd be insane. The plot just will be somebody else. Either I'll be the origami killer, or Madison will be the origami killer, or fucking Shelby will be the origami killer. Now that would be a plot twist. I trust Shelby. But maybe I shouldn't. Mm, okay, alright. No one's back here, because the reporters are dumb. Hold up, let's play some hoops! Come back! Basketball! It's a legitimate physical object, I just can't do anything with it right now. Okay. We're gonna be very sneaky, very stealthy as we walk straight back to the front of the place and get in our car. No one's gonna notice us as we just do this. <laughs> hey guys! Let's bail. No need for a seatbelt right now. Peace! They don't even react to the car leaving. Oh god. I have PTSD of people being around me because of my son. The luck gonna gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I, I no time to waste. I need to find out what's in that locker. He's legitimately being like super slow. Maybe I could come back later when there's less of a crowd. Where the hell are the lockers, anyways? I, I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. <sighs> Come on, Ethan! You can handle it! You have to do it for your son! And no one's even like stopping to be like, what the fuck's going on with this guy? They're fucking pumping into me and everything! It looks like I'm choking and they're just like, yep, just gonna keep on bumping into him. Oh, crazy vision. Time has stopped. What the fuck? Dad. Dad. Jason? Sean? Jason? 
Oh, shut up. You weren't looking for me, kid. You were just, like, fucking blindly going around Jason! the place. <laughs> no way, God, I gotta get to Jason! 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 Jason, come back! Jason. It's Jason. He's there. He's right there. This time I'll save him. Jason! Jason! Jason, Dad's here, son! The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Jason! Stop leading me in circle, Jason! You little shit! Even in your death, you're fucking with us! The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. What the Jason. fuck, Jason? I mean, if this is how I'm gonna- Oh, look, I like how, even though time's frozen, some of the billboards and ads are going on. Oh, there we go. Did we get through the crowd? Yes, we did. And still, nobody's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? How convenient. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Dad, he is. I made it. I made it. I managed to get through the goddamn crowd. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. I don't remember the numbers on this thing, but maybe we'll pluck out. Here we go. Line 18. Box number three. Line 18, box number three. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. Oh, this will be easy. Line 18 should be over here in the back. Okay, there's a little bit more to this place than I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh god. Oh god. Camera angles. It should still be back here. Right? Here's 19. So it's on the back line. Aha! Line 18, number 3. Eh! Come on, Arrow! <laughs> I'm just like, I'm going up and then to the left! What's inside of here? Is a box just like that shopkeep dude? Oh no. in the fucking box. We're not even gonna learn for a while. God damn it. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I thought I was swapping over to, like, Norman Jaden. 